Hi guys, in this video we're going to be going for four achievements in the crash site level of Tomb Raider 3. Starting at the beginning of the level, we need to get across this swamp in under 20 seconds, which isn't as easy as it sounds. We are given a map by an Australian stereotype in the treehouse at the end of the previous level. And to view this map, you can press your inventory button and then up, but the map isn't exactly useful. I have drawn it out myself so that I could put it up in the corner of the screen, but once you learn the route that you need to take, it shouldn't be too difficult to remember it. What's more difficult is making sure that you land each jump because the outsides of the squares can be hard to see and if you miss any of the jumps and fall into the mud, well, it's more like quicksand, so you ain't getting back out again. Speed really is the key. You don't have any time to stop or line up jumps. You need to keep moving. It's worth noting that the first secret of the level is in this swamp, so you will need to go back into it to pick up the secret, which is easy enough to do. I also have no idea what the hell happened here, but I just fell through the floor and the achievement still popped, so I guess that's that. <laughs> The next achievement does not require progressing much further into the level, but there are two different ways you can go about getting it. I'm going to cover both. Both routes start at the same place when you first enter the big area with the plane in it after you've killed the Velociraptor. First we're going to do the quicker and shorter route. You want to head around the front of the plane to the opposite side and find the hard to see flat area of dirt and hop up to it. From there you can climb on top of the plane, then head over to the wing and jump over to a small opening that you can see. Pull up, climb in there, drop down and you will find some Uzzy clips. You can then climb back out onto the plane and carry on. Now for the second longer route going through the cave. There's not really much to say here as you've just got to work your way through the cave. So I'm going to let the video just play out.
Annoyingly, there is some footage missing here, but after pulling that lever, just climb back up to the entrance, jump up to the monkey bars and just follow them around. Unfortunately, these next two achievements are going to require some patience because they both rely somewhat on the AI, which is never a good thing. Starting with fire support. As soon as you pick up the keys, that will spawn the T-Rex. Now you just need to run around him however you can. I took a lot of damage here. Apparently this guy's a lot faster than the T-Rexes in the other two games. But your aim is to get into the little alcove with a lever, the door that was shut before you picked up the keys. That is a safe spot. The dinosaur can't hurt you from there. But that means that he will lose interest very quickly. So you will spend a lot of time running out of the doorway and then hopping back in to get his attention. Now you just want to unload whatever weapon you have on him but keep an eye on his health bar you do want it to look pretty much empty saves are your friend here but when his health is low then you need to stop shooting again you'll have to keep running out of the alcove and stepping back in again to get his attention but we need the soldier up on the level above to kill him he won't always shoot it's very frustrating. He sometimes decides that he will, sometimes won't. So you've just really got to keep luring the T-Rex back until he finally decides he's going to shoot at it and kill it. This is why we lowered its health beforehand. I'm pretty sure this took me about five minutes of hopping in and out. I've had to cut some of it out and I've sped the rest of it up so you can see, but it's pretty annoying. <laughs>
The Velociraptor that we need to make fall into a deep hole is right at the end of the level when you have to deal with the dino horde. And the plane wing that you would normally use to cross this little river is the spot where we need to make the... It's very specific though. There are plenty of times where I had dinosaurs fall into the river but not at the bottom of the waterfall section and that didn't count. Essentially the best way to go about this is to run around and get as many velociraptors aggroed on you as you can and then jump backwards and forwards between the plane wing and this ledge. Just keep going until eventually one of them will fall over the edge and you'll finally get the achievement.